engine boost engine boost activated guys guys are you ready for some torpy top action top 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 yes 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 top 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 yes 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 <laughs> You need to win five games. Wait. Do I still need to win five games to win get to silver after reaching rank one Bronx? Yeah, it's qualification. We still need to win the five five qualification games, yeah. And then silver now. <laughs> meh. Yeah, pretty meh, I agree. <laughs> pretty darn meh. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Yet. Hmm. Just gonna go. F we got just gonna go crazy. We're gonna get the first buff. We're gonna pour up here and here. Once for the D go C and once for the ships go here. So, one for the ships coming here. And what's for outside DD that might go for the buff. So we cover both. Enemy force detected. Oh, I'm spotted. Hold up. Critical engine damage. Engine boost deactivated. That's an aggressive vampire play. I like it. It could be from me. <laughs> could actually be from me that play. I like it. I just hope he knows that it's a hydro DD. <coughs> that's that's something I really like. That play. That aggressive vampire play with the smoke. Just gonna quickly get the buff. I'm trying to get him out of the smoke screen though with Torps. They won't hit him, but they might force him to go fast out of the smoke. Which is exactly what we need want to do in this case. We're not gonna push him because obviously he has insane gunpowder. Again, gunpowder, hydro, and the Gearing behind them as well. But maybe you can force him. Make him move. Get back. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Okay, he left the smoke screen. That was a big mistake by him. Now so we all, now we also know where he is exactly. So we can blind fire a bit. And thanks to the smoke screen, he can shoot us. Remember, he's not a daring, so he cannot sustain damage. He has no heal. So every time we hit him, it's it's a little punishment for him. Unfortunately, our Bavan thought it's a good idea to keep fighting there, though. Engine boost activated. This is, by the way, how we deal also with a vampire player. Yeah? If he keeps pushing. Now he has no smoke screen, and now we can take the fight. We still have a lot of HP left. His support is quite far away. <coughs> and we have heals, unlike him. I would presume he's on the run. We just gotta watch out, there's still a gearing. Which we always need to pay attention to. Okay. Hell yeah, brother. You should have run. That was a bad that was a bad play by the vampire. You should have run. You should, if I would have known he has this HP, I would have not kept pushing. Critical engine damage. Problem solved. That's also not a good play from the gearing. We are in a kiting position. Which means we're in a better spot. Plus he has less HP than us. Two misplays by the DDs.
Nice. Beautiful. So, we dealt with a superior gunboat, and we have a gearing, that, gearing that's on a run. All in all, a very good defense. Damage-wise, not a lot, but you gotta remember this is DD damage, so... Pretty decent. Gearing smoked up, another mistake. No reason to smoke up. Why is he smoking up? No reason. <coughs> just a waste. He could just guy he could just run away and keep torping now the BBs and the DDs. But he smokes up for no reason. Giving me maybe even a little spot to keep farming the Ragnarok soon. Plus I have a Grozovoy here as a backup now, so we're just gonna melt that gearing player together. Again, if you are that gearing player now, run. If you wouldn't be, don't say yeah, he's dead. I don't know why he stayed here. We destroyed their destroyer. Two DDs. I'll keep the spot for the Grozovoy player, he can start farming the Ragnarok a bit and I'll just use Torps. I don't mind. Second top set looks very good. Yep. We had one if he keeps going forward and one if he turns. Beautiful. I'll go for the reload buffs now. Nobody's nearby. Next thing we do is um, we do a little sneaky top run. I'll go for the reload buff, but at the same time we will top this area. So in case somebody is going for it from the team, which is highly unlikely yet, but maybe Mesa is turning, we have a top line here if he turns in and maybe tries to get the buff. The question is, can we pull it off? No, I don't think you can pull it off from the angle, actually. No, it's fine. I thought maybe... I mean, we can still try. Nah, it's gonna hit that island. I would need to commit now for it, which we don't. We'd rather get our reload buff now. It was just an idea, but the islands were kind of in the way for it. So we couldn't really go for it, effectively at least. Hello there. Grozovoy can talk through this gap though, because he is gonna go for the reload buff, that's for sure. <coughs> that's the one thing that's sure. <laughs> or oh, is he not? Nah, he is. Dude, I want to say, what is this Mesa doing right now? We're gonna block Turpets and Trump from going into this cap. Furthermore, so we're just gonna four points here. And here making them kind of useless. Engine boost deactivated. Mm, I'm gonna 
move. We don't want to get hit here. Do we get the turbots? Nice. Do we get the drone? Beautiful. Double strike. We got two of them. We destroyed their destroyer. And now we're just gonna end the master's career here with our torp load. I don't think he's gonna move much faster forward anymore. He's gonna turn in rather. I played him. Thank you for your follow. No. Oh. Okay, we're gonna shoot him. We want to try to get him into us. I mean, in the end, we're full HP. We can still tank a bit here. I have a detonation flag, by the way. If you ask, Shed, so don't worry. I'm not risking anything here. And that's our crack. Chris Bin has a 12 gam radar, so we gotta watch out. VL Will, thank you for your follow. Torpedoes direct front. <laughs> The good thing is, there's no reason for him to go for the radar at the moment, since the Bismarck is keeping him busy. Ahoy, Wonka Schokoladenfabrik. Moin. I hope this was a nice little demonstration how you can play Haaland, for example, in which ways and how to use the torp board effectively and the guns as well, because you should not underestimate, while it is a torp board, the guns are not bad. You can still use them quite a bit. Also, torps look good on Minnesota, maybe. No, they're not. I wasn't sure about the range anymore. At this point... We can just... Everybody's gunning on him, so we can also gun on him, honestly. He might reset the cap, but he's blocking it anyway, so... And remember, he has no minor reload. Yes, he has a chi. But he has no minor reload. Confederate as well. Beautiful. <laughs> GG Oh, is he gonna turn fully? No way, mister I mean, he might Because the pawn is having his broadside Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please send Please help me. me. You're too much reading. <laughs> GG. Hello, Cosmic. Good job. We even get another buff. Yay. That means a tiny bit more XP. GG. GG, well played, Kraken. <laughs> nice. Oh wow, well played to the Pommern as well, GG, on his side, especially with a Pommern. I'm not sure if I clicked the right one, so we do it again. GG. Can you show me your Haaland captain real quick? Yep. It's a... it's a... Wait, I want to say it should be torpedoes, right? Yeah, it's a torpedo build. 